Hello everybody and welcome to the Irregular of Magic High School Visitor Arc Episode 1 Anime Review Now, this is late, this is a late review Why is it late though? Well, the answer to that question, as often is the case here It's Funimation UK is the problem, specifically UK Because apparently America had it out on time, no problem UK though, we didn't get it till Monday and now it's Tuesday Because it was late when I saw it and I needed to go to bed Um... I'm not, I get, I get stuff goes wrong sometimes, Funimation UK, but it seems like things go wrong a lot more with them. Like every streaming service occasionally has its blunders. Why does Funimation screw up so much? Uh, specifically, you, I can't speak for US, but UK especially, what's going on? Anyway though, into the actual episode itself, it was basically, I mean, we, we got right into it, really. I've not read the light novels, as I should probably say. I've not seen the movie, either, because I've read that the movie actually takes place after this season, uh, despite the fact it came out, like, three years ago. Um, so, I don't, I don't know anything about that. What I do know uh, is that this should be good, because that's, that's a really bad transition. Let's just keep, let's just keep going. Um, the end of, I think the first season... I watched it a few months ago, like two or three months ago. July I watched it, so that's a little bit more than that. God 2020, where have you gone? Uh, I watched it a few months ago in preparation for this, because I was like, I know that show, people like that show. I didn't realize how much people like this show. Like, this show has a very dedicated fan base, and I'm scared of upsetting them, because... I mean, no, I do like this show as well. I was going to say, because I don't like this show. I do like this show. It's pretty damn good. It's got good power system, and Tachi is pretty cool. Miyuki... I mean, I can take or leave Miyuki if I'm honest, but Tachi is cool, uh, and that is that's that's in, that's important, you know. He's a he's a smart guy, and I, I you don't know how much I appreciate him being smart. That is uh, that is an important thing. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into the episode and see how everything started going down because this intro has gone on for long enough. Let's do this. We're reintroduced to the world and the magic and the system, what's a magician, all this. The incident at the end of season one, the incident that a certain somebody did a thing, remember? Scorched Halloween is probably something to a certain someone. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name names, but we all know who it was. I mean, they show us who it was, in case you forgot. Uh, how many people, question, uh, poll right now, how many people re-watched the last episode of season one? Because it's been, what, five years since that aired? And... I mean, I assume people have rewatched it re since, but uh, but yeah, God, five years. They need to get better. Do sequels for things quicker, please. Like, I hope after this season, because I think this is only be like twelve or thirteen episodes. Hope they hope they are just like, yeah, okay, we'll do another one next year. You know, don't 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 wait another five years because I think I read the light novels are like basically done. Like they're either finishing or have finished as of now. Uh, so that's pretty crazy. I think it's like 34 or something. I can't remember the exact number. It was somewhere around there. Back to the episode, though. I'm talking a lot of, not admin, but outside stuff. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas time. Everyone's favorite. There are some people chasing a dude over some rooftops. Uh, I was like, okay, I don't, do I know any of these people? I don't think I know these people. Then there's a red-haired masked girl who presumably is, well, no, not presumably, is the main antagonist that I'm doing that in quotes because it, I, I mean originally I was like definitely the bad guy and then after this episode I'm like okay maybe not a bad guy we'll get to it um the dude is run he deserted his unit I guess the dude who's running away and the red girl is like I, I, I you know I'll kill you you I gotta kill you now uh, and that's basically that's basically what happens she's like I don't think you did it you know why'd you do it don't think you did it and then he attacks her and he's like I sentence you to death is red girl uh, and yeah, he, he gets shot. We don't see the bullet impact him, but I think it's safe to assume the man died. Like, I'm not, I don't want to make no assumptions, but he's probably not alive anymore. And now for something completely different. It's a Christmas party, or a New Year's party, or actually a farewell party, because turns out Shizuku is going to, I think it was America, going to study in America, and I was absolutely devastated, because I was like, not Shizuku, she's my favorite, why would you do that? She is actually my favorite, like, just, you know, no no questions asked, she, she is. I don't know why. If you ask me why she's your favorite, I couldn't tell you that. I have no idea, I just like her the most. She, she looks cool. 
they somehow make managed to make the that's another thing I like about this show is somehow the character designs are normal but cool normal but like not bland if that makes sense uh, maybe it doesn't make sense I think I think they look pretty cool whether it's Tatsuya's sharp eyes or Miyuki's big eyes that's not a good a good uh, you know a differentiator I guess but no they do look cool that's what I what I think at least the main crew uh, they all have at least one defining feature that's another thing probably going to get people's names wrong because I I'm, I'm bad at it and there's a lot of characters so I mean I mean I'll get the main crew right it's more the the side characters I'll be like I'll ask a lot were you in season one and people are like yes idiot of course they were in season one but yeah Shizuku is going to study in America for three months I'm like is it even worth it at that point you've got to uproot yourself move to America study for three months and then uproot yourself again and come back like I've never studied abroad, I barely studied in my own country, but uh, that seems like a lot of effort for not too much payoff, although I could be completely wrong though. Uh, the important thing we learn here is she is being swapped, you know, it's like a trade, it's like, you know, you, you watch sports, maybe you haven't actually, I, I don't even watch sports really. Don't know why I used it as an example. It's like a trade, like, hey, we'll trade one of our American people for, for you, Shizuku, to send to Japan. That's basically how it goes down. Oh, you thought red girl had red hair? Well, psych, no, she she's actually a blonde girl. And I was like, oh my god, plot twist. It wasn't hair dye, it was like illusion magic. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, presumably, she is the girl swapping with Shizuku. Well, at this point, it was presumably. We later learn, yes, she is the girl. Because uh, we see suitcases and whatnot. She has a... She is after... She's, on, she's got a special mission, sorry. To get find the, the the strategic class magician that caused that crap at the end of uh, season one. Basically, find Tatsia. Uh, to put it incredibly bluntly, she doesn't get why she's the one doing this because she's um, not good at spying. Like, I mean, we'll put it like that, and then we'll get back to it later because that's putting it mildly. That's to say the say say for sure. The, uh, the other dude is all like, uh, I forget, what was his name? Ben? His name was Ben. My manager's called Ben. Damn it, Ben. Uh, prioritize fighting strength right. And then what else? He's like, make sure you enjoy yourself because that'll make them lower their guard more. And it's like, yeah, but not so much that you uh, you forget your mission. Like, how many shows are like, oh, I'm having such a great time. They're like, no, kill him. And they're like, oh, you're my friend now. I can't kill you. How many times does that happen? Ben might have just doomed the mission. Damn it, Ben. Uh, she leaves this Ben guy in charge, and I'm just convinced that Ben is going to be some sort of traitor. He's going to be evil. I'm calling it. That's not my official prediction. Um, the Shiba siblings also, uh, very briefly, this is, doesn't deserve its own section, so I'll just put it here. The Shiba siblings learn from their aunt that, hey, there's people looking for you, Tatsuya. Watch yourself. And he's like, all right, cool. I'll watch myself. And that's, that's basically that's the end of that section. As I said, very short. Happy New Year, everybody. Everybody's in Yukata. They look very nice. Uh, Tatsuya is in a... Uh, is, is it a Yukata? It's not a Yukata, is it? The, the... I can't remember what that... Oh, my God, my brain. It's farted. You know what he's in. They brought the uh, the bold guy as well. The bold Shisho from, uh, from the temple place. I've forgotten his name as well. Like, remember what I said? I forget the side characters' names. Yeah, that... The bold, you know who I'm on about. Uh, and then, in the dis not even in the distance, that's just being overly kind. In broad daylight, there is a blonde girl, it is the blonde girl, watching, like, proper, like, going from pillar to pillar, watching Tatsuya and friends. Uh, Tatsuya calls Miyuki pretty at some point, because she was all like, why are you staring at that girl? And he's like, no, no, you're way prettier. And it's like, Tatsuya. All the friends must be, like, convinced he's going to bang his sister in the school. Like, they must be, like, okay, make sure the doors are never locked with those two. Because they'll do it. They will do it. Like, I I'm convinced they'll do it. Um, the blonde girl realises, oh no, I've been spotted. Uh, and walks right past them while making straight eye contact with Tatsuya. So if he didn't suspect you before, he does now. Like, you could have just, you could have, you could have, like... Easily play that off. Just be like the, excuse me, mister, you're very good looking. Can I have your number? And then Tatsuya would be like, oh, no, I won't do that. It's like, oh, I thought you were bad. Tatsuya's too smart for that. What am I saying? Any other anime protagonist would have fallen for that. But 
Blonde girl isn't smart enough. I should probably start using her name soon. Although we didn't learn it yet, technically, in the in this point. I'll, I'll, I'll start using it when my notes start using it. How about that? Blonde girl returns home to see her roommate, I guess, called Sylvie. Uh, blonde girl is called Lena, by the way. That's important. She's probably an important character. Just gonna, just gonna lay that out there. Um, her roommate Sylvie basically says, What on earth are you wearing? Did you go out in that? And, like, honestly, I didn't even notice. I thought it looked quite nice, quite frankly, but again, uh, I have no fashion. I have the fashion sense of a squirrel that is also dead. So, make that, make of that if you will. Basically, Sylvie is like, all right, we need to have a talk about modern Japan and what is, what is regular and what is normal, because that, that thing is not normal. I thought it looked nice, uh, although I think she probably, her legs were, like, exposed, right? So she probably would have had cold legs. That's... That's the thing I'm concerned about. It was it was January. It was New Year's, you know? Cold legs. Don't get, like, frostbite or nothing. Be careful, Lena. Hey, back to school after the New Year, and Lena is already making friends with Miyuki and Honoka. I think it was Honoka. Was it Honoka? Oh, yeah, it was. It was Honoka. She's related to this Kudo fellow that Tatsuya was on about. I blanked a lot of that out, to be honest. I guess he was some big deal. And she is related to... She's like his grandniece or something. I forget exactly the, the relation. But that's important. Because why would they mention it if it's not important? It's this show. This show loves mentioning things that aren't important. Damn it. I've been had. Um, Miyuki and Lena have a magic spa at some... Probably should also mention this. Lena? In that outfit? Thumbs up is all I'm going to say. Like, mighty fine. She has twin tails too, which is my kryptonite. So damn it, Lena. You're gonna, you're gonna become the best girl, and uh, do we want that? Do we want that? I don't care. Anyone can be best girl. It's fine. If as long as they earn it, it's great. Um, they have a magic spa, which Miyuki wins because uh, I think Mayumi is off to the side and is like she won through strategy. Pushes glasses. She doesn't have glasses, but I'll push my glasses to uh, to show that's what smart people do. Ha ha. Smart people. Speaking of smart people, Tatsuya, right? So the Shiba siblings already know who Lena is. They know she's the leader of the uh, the whatever. She, they know her nickname. Forget exactly what either of those two things are. But uh, the important thing here is they know it. I might not know it, but they do. That's the important thing. They suspect the actual spy is somewhere else keeping watch because Lena is really, really bad at li uh, lying, spying. Uh, but then they're like, no, that doesn't make sense. Why would the actual spy be somewhere else? Uh, so maybe there's this is not the main mission. Maybe she's been sent here because of another mission, and this is just like happenstance, which it turns out is ex well. We'll get to it, but it, that's exactly what it is. Tatsuya is really smart, like really, really smart. He he knew this before damn near anyone else, including Lena herself. So that's that's Tatsuya's big brain for you. Uh, Lena has friend friend me around. Not really a friend co-conspirator we'll go with uh, and then the three of them Mia, Mia, Lena and the other one Sylvie spe uh, talk about information about the magician see if they've learned anything and the answer is really uh, no not really uh, it, it's probably Tatsuya though like they, they suspect Tatsuya already and the fact they suspect him already from the beginning I mean they must know but like like uh, like Tatsuya said, probably a second objective, which is actually the primary objective. Um, she thinks she's been ratted out because Tatsuya brought up the nickname at school. He's like, your nickname should be Angie, right? And Angie is like the name of the the head of the the red girl, basically, is how I look at it. Her name is Angie, and then Lena is all like, because her name's like Angelina, and she she covered it up pretty well. And again, that might have fooled any other anime protagonist, but you ain't fooling your boy Tatsuya Shiba, are you? Uh, so th she thinks Tatsuya's on to her, so I I guess that's 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 fine. It's nice that people have brains, you know. They're like, oh, I can't believe you tricked me. But it's like, in most shows, that's like it's like that. It's like, oh, I can't believe you tricked me. And then it's like the most obvious thing ever. But here it's like, okay, it's like 40 chess with magic. That's what this show is. Um, what is she, she says at the end? She goes like, I could probably handle him. He's just a high school student. I'm like. Those are your, those are famous last words. Like, he's just a high school student. There is no just. Like, the only way that sentence makes sense is if you put a question mark at the end. Like, he's just a high school student. Like that. Uh, not in the... 
I mean, he'll 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 wreck her. We know what we we know where this is going. We know Tatsuya. People call him like Godseer, and I'm like, can you not think of a better name than that? Like, yes, he's God. He acts like it, but uh, it's not a very good nickname. Think of a better one. Think of the better one, community. I'm challenging you right now. Lena confronts Tatsuya in a mysteriously empty hallway. I guess everyone else was in class, or or was Tatsuya bunking? Were they bunking? Or were just people in a different area? I'm asking the real questions here. Um, Lena is like, hey, why are you pretending to be an irregular, Tatsuya? And it's like, he's not pretending. He is a t he is an irregular. Uh, they also talk about him being in like the, the B tier. I forgot what the exact term is. But he's a B tier, basically, and everyone else is an A tier, even though Tatsuya is actually an S tier, it turns out. Uh, she wants to be good at fighting and not school, so you know what that means? Fighting starts. Uh, she, he goes to, she like tries to punch him, not punch him, grab him in the face, he blocks it, then she tries to magic and he twists her wrist, he's like, I'll break it. No, he stops the magic and then he like twists her wrist, but he's like, hey, stop it, don't, don't, don't launch magic at my face, you know, I need that for hitting on my sister, I guess, that's what Tats, can't wait for that to be taken out of context, alright. Uh, eventually he does get an apology out of her, because he's like, hey. Don't what is don't don't do hey, I'll, in a minute he says something cool. He's like then he's like stop acting high class, it doesn't suit you. They have like banter after this. She has blushy cheeks at one point, you know, as you do. Uh she slips that the president invited her to tea once and he's like, Oh wow, a normal high school student getting invited to tea by the president. And she's like, crap, you know. So if Tatia wasn't sure before, which he was, he's damn sure sure now. Damn sure sure. That's hard to say. Um he says don't test me again, basically. Basically saying, you leave me alone and we're good. But you mess with me, I will end you. I'll rip out your twin tails one by one. Not like each like each hair, one by one. And make you eat them. That is the type of man Tatsu is. He's not really, but... I mean, I can see him doing it, can you? That's the real question. Um, he doesn't care who she really is. Because, what does he say? Some things you're better not off not knowing. And... Again, I take that to mean, stay away. Like, don't mess with me. Like, that's... He, it's, it's like a low threat. It's like, we'll be cool. Unless you don't want us to be cool. Like, that's, that's essentially how I see it. It's the middle of the night and Lena is awoken by... I think it was Sylvie. Uh, there's some fugitives that are, are in Japan. These fugitives apparently got in at the Scorched Halloween, which is when, in case you didn't pay attention, is the end of season one when Tatsuya did the thing. Uh, her first priority is now to track down the fugitives instead of going after Tatsuya, that's priority two now. Uh, so the fugitives, I'm going to guess, are the true villains. Uh, and, you know, it's basically going to be like three sides. Like, I'm sure Tatsuya will get involved and then he'll fight Lena because they'll be like, no, you... You know, they'll get in, into a scrap and then eventually they'll probably team up to take out the fugitives. That's sort of how I see it going down. I could be completely off, as I said. I've not read the light novels or nothing. Uh, so who knows? Uh, and then at the very end, there's a cr load of creepy masked men beating up a woman. I hope they were just beating her up and not doing anything more sadistic. Um, that would be, that'd be pretty messed up. And then the opening starts and the opening is fire. Like, I'd heard the opening like in a trailer and I was like, I wasn't too excited before. Like, I was moderately excited. And then I heard the opening, I was like, yeah, this is bop, this is banging, this is hype, let's go. Um, and that was the end of the episode. A lot of stuff I probably missed. Like, this seems like one of them shows where there might be a lot of stuff I missed. But one thing I should probably talk about before we get towards the end is the, like, the animation. Like, it's not a Madhouse who did the first season. I think it's 8-Bit who did the movie, which I've not seen, so I can't comment on it. And also it's a movie, so you can't really, it doesn't, don't really, it's not the same things. 8-Bit, uh, it also did the slime, the time I got reincarnated is a slime they did. So they're, I think they're like a small studio, but they seem pretty good. Like they're pretty competent. I've not seen anything of theirs that's awfully animated. And this looked good too. Like, to be perfectly honest, I couldn't see much of a difference between this season and the first one. Although there wasn't much fighting in this episode. So, you know, take that for what you will. And also, episode one always looks good for everything. Like, next episode could look like crap. And, you know, then it's like, ah, okay. That's that's not good. But so far, though, it doesn't. So that's a good thing. Um, anyway, let's get quickly to my favorite part of the episode. And then we'll wrap this shindig up, shall we?
So my favorite part of the episode is just Tatsuya not being an idiot. So I mentioned it briefly earlier. So many characters would have been unsuspicious of uh, Lena or just, you know, they would have, they would have been, and they would have been like, oh, you tricked me, how would you betray me? Tatsuya's not like that. Tatsuya knows, Tatsuya knows what's going on before Lena does, like with the, like the true mission thing, which, you know, was exactly what he said it would be. Um, you could make the argument he's like too good, he's too OP in that instance, but I like it. I like that he's not just OP in battle, he's OP in the brain as well. Uh, it's, it's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, that was just, that was my favorite part of the episode. Looking forward to the rest of it. You know, it should be good. It, it's what, three books I think I saw on when I looked it up briefly. Uh, so that's 12 or 30 episodes, presumably, is what we're getting. Hopefully, when we finish, I know that's a long time away. It's not really, it's a few months, but you know what I'm saying. Hopefully when we finish, they announce more and they don't go on hiatus for another five years because, come on guys, this is, a good, this is good. Apparently it's quite popular in Japan as well, so you'd think they would have made a lot more, considering again how many light novels there are. Like, what, what's going on there? You know, what, finishing this will be like a third of the way through, so you can get like a few more seasons out easily. Like, what's going on? You know, is it less popular than I've heard? That's the real question. Anyway... Thank you everybody for watching this review, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and stuff for more reviews, that would help me out a lot. I will see you on Saturday, hopeful Funimation, please don't screw me here, Saturday or Sunday, one of the two, depending on what time I can uh, get it out, for another episode of this. Take care, and bye guys.